So think about what I am telling you. If you decide a destination of your project, then the project becomes innovative. And this is very important because we cannot continue to do objects that are only form, follow, function. And as I said before, you are so many here, imagine that each one of you is able to do a new kind of chair, a new kind of table, a new kind of lamp, a new kind of any object, then the world becomes much better. Because it's full of expression, full of creativity. This is what we would like to do with the world of tomorrow. I am 56 years old. You are? Yeah, and Gaetano is 83 years old, okay? The more I grow old, the more I realize that I'm full of that. Full of that. And what wonders me about Gaetano is that he's full of certainties. And that's something that really amazes me. Design is one thing to remember, is the art of today. And you are artist before to be designer. So express what you have inside, not have problem to, to express what you have here because you say, I don't have, I am shy, etc. No, it's very important that you express what you feel in here. And then you can make a big service to a society. This is a good question. How I arrived to use material from my time? As I said before, you didn't come today with a, on, on a horse. You came with a bike, you came with a car, you came with a train, with the ways of our time. And it's important that your work is done in the same way. So the material of my time are elastomer, foam, resin. There are huge quantity of new material that are better than the traditional one. I do vases that if you go on top of the skyscraper and you throw out from the window my vases, they arrive downstairs, they jump three or four times, but they are in perfect condition. If I take a vase in glass and I do the same thing, the glass explodes. This is progress. And you have to study. You know what I did when I was 19? I, finished, I was finishing a school of architecture and I realized that I didn't know about material of my time. So I sent four letters to chemical companies asking if it was possible to see what they are researching. Two companies answer, one in France and one in Germany. When the one in Germany, when I went there, I saw a material that you mix two components and then there is something that is expanding in an incredible way. Then I had ideas. I discovered material that are transparent like the glass, but they are elastic and so doing this you can this make and have ideas that are innovation so i invite you to have curiosity toward new materials it's very important in 1972 i did you was not born but i did something very important I was thinking about the human being. There is no one of you equal to another. And so I said, why not the object? The object today can be done with the kind of technology who allow the production in series, not a series of equal, a series of diverse objects. So each one is a unique piece. If you want to do a table, 
and you decide that the table is for a hero, you do a new table. So if here you are 100 or 200 people, tomorrow we have 200 kinds of design, which is magnificent because it's a triumph of creativity. How to arrive to make a new design? Until today or until yesterday, design was form, follow, function. I think today design is form, follow, function with the expression, with the meaning, with the meaning that can be political, religious, existential, your side. For 50 years, he had been working with resin. And uh, for sure, 50 years ago, it was such a big new. But how can you talk about modernity with resin after 50 years? It's just one choice in the big palette for designers. So how can you say the future is resin, the future is resin? Aren't you bored to say the future is resin? No. No, 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 because I said every day have to be from yesterday to today different and tomorrow have to be different. So your mind is always provoked to discover and not to repeat. Repetition, this is also something, I don't know if I said already, but repetition is something that you have to avoid. Don't repeat. As I did something in 1969, with a chair that he was talking about uh, liberation of the women, and it was very important. Until today, we need, uh, there are countries where women working for the same work of a man, they make less money than the men. This is a kind of stupid situation that still is still there. And women can make the world better for tomorrow. And that chair was talking about this 54 years ago. When in last September, I did a, a, a project of a fashion show for a company called uh, Bottega Veneta. And the subject of what I did was diversity. All the world was talking about that. So that is very important because there are, unfortunately, political system existing today where they say you are not free to be different. You must be equal. And this is the dictator that are still around the world. So when I did this with this company, the communication went around the world, from Australia to Copenhagen, from Helsinki to Tokyo, everybody were talking about this. It's a strong message. Remember, you can do something different from what they say you must do. Don't obey what the magazine says. Don't obey what the movies say. Don't obey fashion. Do the contrary. Do yourself. What you have inside is what the world needs. Understood or not? They compare to others. What do you say? <laughs> hey Julia, oh, what do you say?